tonight we're going to be doing a live stream on the news ship refit. So I'm going to be taking a little look see at this and seeing if we can update it a little bit. Put some new decorative blocks inside. Um, okay, so modifications have been made. The first thing I did was uh, ended up going for this port and starboard designation on the crystals and the crystals for the intake there. Um, I've also made a couple of changes to all the doors so if I just come up to here and open the door open the door open the door open the door yay okay so now the doors open <laughs> I'm gonna come through and I'll put a couple of just a few wedges with these yellow stripes that's pretty much what I've done there is just put a bunch of these <laughs> okay so many doors okay so I've put those in I've got gone for a new desk so we've got a purple lit desk now with a grill for the actual this room looks way better now look at that for the conference yeah look at it it's crazy yeah just a slight just one little change um, and I've done all the doors with the yellow grills but this is going to be the main room in here there we go news studio a the desk's gone and instead we have a dock for the news desk the mobius desk and obviously we have a dedicated dock going out into space and then there's i'm really happy with that dock that come out really well bit of grill bit of crystal it's real nice, a really nice glow. So that means the news is ready. <laughs> so I'm going to put a bit more logic around the ship, and we're pretty much we're pretty much done on this one. Okay then. So what I've done is I've just got finished putting in gravity. So on the roof here, there's a public gravity sort of lock thing. So if you come up and uh, walk over this. Or if you're inside and you jump into it, it'll switch you in or out. You know, like a gravity toggle. Um, if you come inside the side door, there's an area. So if you go in one at a time, you don't get trapped in the door. And the same goes for both sides. And uh, and yeah, that's where I'm up to at the moment. So I'm going to make some flashy lights on it, I guess, next. Okay then guys, so I put a little clock in here so I can have some running lights on my deck near the uh, main uh, docking point on the on the top deck. So what we've got here is we've got a activation block feeding into an activation block and another activation block. I've only done that for positioning so you can see what I'm doing. So the mm, this is going to have a delay into the beginning of the clock. So it's going to put the pulse in, which is 1.5 seconds. And it will also turn on what I've called my panic button. So this will mean that the AND is on when the uh, pulse is going through it. As soon as I hit this button again, it's going to stop working. So here you go, you can watch it work. Okay, if I now turn this off, it's going to stop it. There you go, yellow is off, blue is on. So let's do that again, push it on, and off it goes. This would obviously be our output. So now I'm going to hook up those running lights to these out, this output. And in addition, I'm going to put a not circuit on here so we can get a on off flash that happens every every uh, every tick. So hook that to there. So I'm going to hook half the lights to the activation block and half the lights to the not block. So there it is, all done. Um, what we've got now is an on off sequence it seems to be just blinking actually it's not alternating did I break it let's just check the clock okay so I there were mistakes made and I accidentally put an or gate down instead of when I needed a knot now here we are as you can see we've got this nice alternating blue to blue and with the grill it gives us a less of a harsh light 
And like I say, I've got that running on both sides. And when you view it from different angles, it gives a nice, nice little blinking effect. As you're moving around, it certainly does. Um, like I say, I don't want to go too far with this ship, so I'm probably just going to have that as my main light bar. Because um, I've done everything I wanted to do here. So yeah, we've got the lights in, we've got the... Oh, we've got some symmetry logic. Let's just get rid of that. <laughs> symmetry logic, yay! <laughs> there we go, my docking module works again. Logically symmetrical. Yes. Indeed. And we have the newest addition to the new ship, a logic room with door controls, gravity controls, and a running light clock, which is all turner offable from one button. As you can see, it stopped. And it's all on as well, I think. Oh no, some of it's off. That's fine. So let's turn it back on again for the sake of flashiness. And obviously I could have had a, an area trigger set up somewhere on the ship to start that. Ooh, do you know what I should do? Attach it to the docking block. It's so simple. It is, isn't it? It's, oh, but I'm not going to because there could be pipes flying around everywhere. I really, you really need to think about it. Just a little bit. So, I'm going to deactivate my logic and save up my ship. So, thanks for watching everybody. That was the new Ship 3 refit. I uh, did a couple of things there. Uh, I've got some weapons and things to add to it next time, so there's going to be a part two coming up. So uh, see you soon, and uh, look forward to the news coming soon.